Hi everyone, thanks for joining in. You're now watching the Swim England video covering the age group scapular stability session. The idea being you're going to take 30 minutes to concentrate on developing some scapular stability on land to try and help you maintain body position, create and control rotation while you're in the water. As with any session that you're going to go through, it's always really important to make sure you've got a drink in hand in case you need to take one, that you're using the warm up as a guideline making sure you focus on quality of execution on every rep you take. And if you need to go through a few more extra bits to get yourself prepared, then you do so. So as with all sessions, you're just gonna take a few minutes initially to do a five minutes worth of light jogging or on a bike. So because I'm indoors, you can just do this on the spot. You can do some star jumps, a bit of jogging, mix it up with some A skipping, just anything to get your heart rate up and your blood pumping a little bit. Next thing after this, you're then going to go and do some glute bridge marches. So you're going to go for five repetitions on each side. Just make sure that your heels are just out in front of your knees, with your toes up off the floor, and you're going to bring your hips up in line with your knees and just alternate from one onto the other. So pausing briefly with two feet on the ground at once. Keep your core pulled down tight and engage as hard as you can and make sure that your hips don't drop as you go through it. So after this, you're then going to go into a complex of push-up, into a cobra position, and then finally into an inchworm. So you're going to go through three repetitions of this. So it's making sure that you're controlling yourself on the way down to the floor for the push-up phase. Come back up to the top in the cobra, keep your hips locked onto the floor and really push yourself up as far as you can. And as you inchworm, bring your hands back towards your feet with straight legs. So as you go through each time, Try and increase the stretch on your abs through the cobra. If it gets high up, just make sure you keep your hips down on the ground. And with the inchworm, again, hands as close to your feet as you can without bending your knees. So bent leg lowers. You're gonna lie flat on the floor with your feet in the air and your knees bent slightly. Just lower your feet down to the ground as close as you can without touching. Just double check to make sure you don't arch your back so there's no daylight can get between your back and the floor. You're gonna go through five repetitions of this one. You can alternate and do five each side or increase the challenge by having both feet lower to the ground as you go through. And then you're going to finish off finally with five repetitions on each side of a single leg arabesque. So you're going to turn your hands up to the side and externally rotate by turning your thumb behind you. Create a nice flat back position and try and get your body into a T shape and then snap yourself back through into a high knee single leg stance. So you're going to do five reps on each side of this. If you have to bend your back leg a little bit to try and keep your body weight close to your uh, belly button, it just makes it a little bit easier. But ultimately here, you're trying to maintain postural control. And if you imagine that you've got a camera on your belt buckle on the front of your shorts or trousers, as you hinge down, you're trying to make sure you're filming the floor the whole time so you don't turn your off stance leg up to the ceiling. And then the first exercise of the session is a plank rotation. So you're gonna go through five reps on each side. So first off, get yourself into a press up plank position, turn yourself over into a sort of straight arm side plank position by pulling through your core. Best way to try and get this done is to take one hand off of the floor before you begin that initial rotation. So you're almost pulling through your belly button to get yourself onto a side plank position. If you wanna make it a little bit more challenging, make sure your feet are stacked on top of each other instead of crossed over. But if it helps you maintain that scapular control and feel like you're walking through your upper body, then do so. The prone IYT exercise is going to be done three reps in each position. So lie flat on the ground, make sure your wrists and elbows come up off of the floor, try and reach overhead into a streamlined position and pull your elbows down into a W, try and depress your scapula, pull them down towards your hips and then reach out the same way into a Y and a T position. As you're doing that, it's making sure that all the movement is coming through your shoulder blades. So you can reach overhead, but try and get your shoulder blades to turn up away from your hips for each one. So you're activating your muscles as best as you can. Following that, you're then gonna go into a kneeling scapular push up, and you're gonna do eight repetitions of this. So set yourself up sort of like you were going to do a Superman or an angry cat, happy cat and maintain a straight back and try and push your spine up as high away from the floor as you can. 
and try and make sure that your wrists are down straight underneath your shoulders and push your hands into the floor try and drive them away so you're trying to warm up the muscles on the front of your rib cage that contribute quite a lot to that scapular stability the scapular floor or wall slides you're going to set yourself up down on the floor with a, no daylight between your lower back and the ground and reach yourself overhead similar to the eye part of an iytw you're going to reach up try and keep your wrists as close to the floor as you can all the way through to make sure your elbows stay down the whole time and just go up as high as you can as you reach overhead if you've got a wall available to you that's the best way to do this one so keep your back flat into the wall elbows on and just try to challenge yourself by trying to keep your wrists as close to the door banded face pull to external rotation so if you haven't got a rubber band try using a dressing gown cord you can use these as squeezes instead of pulls so all you're going to do is have your wrists and elbows out in front of you like you're going to start a push up you then pull the band back towards you and as you get to the end you turn your knuckles up towards the ceiling and hold that position just for a second you're going to go through this five times as you're doing it make sure that your hips and your abs are squeezed and engaged the whole time if you're doing it standing you can split your stance because it just helps maintain that lower back position and engage that core you're going to finish off this round of the session by doing some shoulder cars so hands down by your side go up overhead internally rotate by turning your thumbs down towards the floor and rotate back down from behind your head so flex your shoulder up to the ceiling with your thumbs out turn them down as you go behind you you're going to go through three repetitions and then go back to the beginning of the session by doing plank rotations and you're going to complete three to four rounds of each exercise to finish the session